you. Well, it's very strange seeing all these again because I... Well, I'm glad to know that they weren't all thrown in the skip when we threw stuff away. Um, it's quite surprising how strong some of this stuff still still looks and how fresh it looks uh, after over 40 years. Um, yeah, the feast from the the Red Knight scene, the goodbye. When he didn't get to the feast, it was just as well because Mr. Ben was on a diet at the time, I remember. This I had to look at hard to see that it was, it was paintwork. I see it's been extended there. I, I can just about remember doing that, but not completely. And yeah, and so, so it goes on, all this sort of uh, uh, stuff. Oh yeah, there's small red knights. So it's obviously some of the first ones, which these are all red knights which is escape the, escape the skip. Um, Why did you do some acetate and some watercolour? Um, no, the, the acetate is so that parts of it can be used or uh, reused. And it was built up in, in sections. In this one, for instance, the, the dragon and Mr. Uh, ben would be slid along, it, it was stop frame. So you'd take a photo, you'd move it a little bit, take another photo, move it a little bit, take another photo, and in the end the film would run like a, 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 as a very simple animation. Uh, but of course behind the rocks you don't have to animate the legs. And this small street scene at the top, famous Festine Road. I can't remember. I can't remember that one. Has that got your house on it? Uh, it must have somewhere. I guess I would have lived. I probably would have lived about here. That's right. The blue one and the yellow one next to it was Mr. Ben's house. I lived in '54 and '52 is where I put Mr. Ben. Now we're into the space. So some of the space ones uh, escaped as well. I wonder what. What decided which ones managed to get saved? And more space uh, down here. And the Cape Man one up there is uh, an interesting, interesting one as well. It's a, well, partly a parody on traffic problems and building, and partly explaining how people moved out of caves into houses. And this was the uh, uh, the park at the bottom of uh, bottom of uh, Festing Road, or Festive Road, as Mr. Ben's Road became. And there is a park there. It's been extended since. Um, everything was there for the the people in ordinary day life to have for me to use. In fact, the river is just beyond that, where the where the uh, Oxford and Cambridge boat race starts. On the other side of the, the river is the Fulham football ground, where my son Chuck was a great fan. Yeah. Well, the, the one at the bottom is, again, a cell from the Red Knight. Another one of the same. And that's where he first appears, from, from the shop into the adventure. This, this is from the book, The Gladiator. And I can't remember if we used it also in the film. We may have used the same artwork uh, in the film. And uh, yeah, I quite like that. Uh, in fact, I, I like it quite a lot, that, that picture. I like the, that's also from the same, same book, that was the end paper. And the, 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 I suppose, the kind of perspective or non-perspective which I use um, and which I, I enjoy playing with so much. And this one is again the Red Knight. Another scene, another join. Yeah. And again in layers so that the, the, the parade could be moved behind it. 
uh, and and you get that uh, you get some of that simple animation because it was very basic animation. Um, mainly, it was about storytelling. What else have we got? Well, here we've got Spaceman again at the top in the grey world, and. In this one, the noisy world again, the spaceman. Oh, yes, and here's the, the cooks with the prince, so the cooks working with the princess who wouldn't eat. Clive put together a very nice scene on that with all cuts and to, to music, which was uh, very good. And here, this one's uh, not an old one at all. This is a new, a new print, limited edition. Aha, uh -huh. special. This is number two, I can see. From only 99. Ah, when they're all gone, they'll be gone. Here again is uh, the Red Knight. And it's a scene as the, before the feast is all put together. 